Good morning, it's Friday, Coffee with Clark, and we are in the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, and uh, we're going to look at the last two verses in this little section, Christ our peace. Uh, let's pick up on verse 17. And he came and he preached peace to you who were afar off and to those who were near, for through him we both have access by one spirit to the Father. And so we went through this uh, teaching yesterday about the fact that God has brought together both Jew and Gentile as one body of believers. Uh, one isn't more important than the other. Uh, we're all part of his kingdom family through what Christ has done for us at the cross. And so the Lord Jesus, referring to he in verse 17, he came and he preached peace to us who were afar off and to those who were near. So the people who were far off were the Gentiles who were without hope and without God in the world. And the people who were near were those he had called since the beginning of time, his chosen people, who for the most part didn't accept him, didn't believe in him. And they, they needed to hear the gospel as much as those who were afar off, the Gentiles. And because of the preaching of the gospel and what Christ has done, it says in verse 18, for through him, meaning Jesus, describing Jesus, we both have access by one spirit to the Father. So it isn't through temple sacrifices. It isn't through any religious obligation that was followed in the Old Testament economy. Uh, now, Jew and Gentile alike both have the same access by the power of the Holy Spirit, capital S in verse 18, by one spirit to the Father. So, Anyone who wants to come to salvation from God must come through Jesus Christ. He alone is the provider of salvation for all people groups, both Jew and Gentile. So Paul was simplifying in the book of Ephesians the mystery that was hidden in the Old Testament, that the Jew and the Gentile will be recognized by God as his chosen people. So how powerful is that? Isn't it awesome that we have been included uh, as much as God's uh, chosen people in the Old Testament to be part of his family. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. God bless you guys. See you tomorrow.